Russian de- architecture. When you hear that verse, comes in your mind is churches in old times. Churches that have different style, like now, in the present. But you talk about Byzantine architecture. It, it's classic, and you, know, you can see it's so interesting. So now, I want to know what is Byzantine architecture. So uh, Byzantine architecture, in my study, Constantine, a converted Christian, transferred the empire, Rome to Byzantium, in 330 AD. And also, the empire was divided, they called it Rome, as western capital in Byzantium. Later, it could Constantinople, and as eastern capital, they called New Rome. In Byzantium, also have a column, a capital, but it's from, it's from Roman. They are, they are Ionic, Christian, and com- composite style. So familiar, if you know. In their capital, they called it Cubiform, shape abacus, the circular shop. It had the serrated block, used as deep abacus and bent into a large surface for receiving wide bushes of thick walls. Their religion in 330 AD, Constantinople became capital of the first official Christian Empire. And let's go to the one of the most important things in this topic, is architectural character. We knew that so interesting because was the church construction discarded early Christian style for Domical and Byzantine style. It is its official style for Orthodox. Orthodox is a religion, if you know that, if you know, and more interesting in these churches, I know who are going on their churches, is standing while praying. They play like other religion so that so that I'm not going there. <laughs> if you notice, they have beautiful domes and they have three types of domes. Simple, compound and special design. Simple is a type of Byzantine, Byzantine dome in which the curb, arch, the pendant and the dome are the same. Compound. Dome. In this type of the pendant and the dome have different curvature. Dome with circular drum or support. Special design. In this type of domes, a ring of concrete lies between the dome and the pendant I know it's a beautiful decoration they are instead of using moldings. They use stone bands that was different for me. And they have decorative arches, internal marble, and mosaic. Mosaic, this decoration is a hard to do because it is so com- composed of little stone or brick tiles, etc. And you combine it to create an art that is, and last, it's fresco decoration. When you see this picture, you know what is this architecture is? Yes, it is Hagia Sophia. It's one of the most famous structures in the world. It's a beautiful architecture design. If you know, if you know the code the final is done. Designed by two famous, they are Antimaeus of Trales and Isidorus of Miletus. It has four tall towers, they called it Minaret. Hagia Sophia is one of the supreme achievements in the history of world architecture, no question on that. Its dome is have a pendant between the four supporting arches resting on four main piers. Not, on, not only Hagia Sophia or Hagia Sophia, they have the Byzantine, they have also Old Peter's room. It is erected by Constantine near the site. What a nice architectural design. If you know, they have church complex, example of that is a belfry in other is from Campanile. It is a bell tower either attached to a church or stand alone. Bell districts. It's a separate building on a part of the church in which the sacrament of the visit is administered during Easter. Pentecost and Epiphany with the advent of infant baptism. It was replaced by phones. 